All right, ready, ready. I made a little bit of progress since my last video. I actually can't even remember what my last video was on, but I know I've made some progress since then. So just to speed up a bit, I'm gonna turn around here, talk while I show you. So here we go. So I have all of my fascia boards on. Um, I actually, with the extended rafters on the sides, it, it bumps it out to actually 18 feet. And the only length lumber I can get uh, at the old box stores is 16. So what I did is I took two 10-footers, I uh, installed them uh, off of the middle uh, rafter. There's 13, so the middle, the seventh one in from this side. I just uh, ran them outwards, um, made sure everything was uh, level. With the other rafters and then i just cut the excess off so i have two 10 footers that now cut down to uh, nine foot each um, and then i finished the front and the back put the uh, fascia boards on the front and back and then i run ran my outside rafters i just uh rigged up a couple little basically basically boxes i boxed in the uh front and rear uh, fascia board so the because uh, i'm just working by myself so those are 16 foot almost so I basically just sat them in the box, put one end in the box, lifted it up onto the scaffold and climbed the scaffold and stuck the other one in the box and then I clamped them and screwed them in. So, yeah. So basically, the whole thing is now sheeted. I've got all my rafters along with my fascia. Um, that's kind of a good look of it inside now. So, as you can see, plenty of room. I don't think I've shown you from the inside. There we go. Big front door, two 36 inch doors. Come around the side here. So, as you can see, all my rafters are in and they're pretty much a 12 inch overhang all the way around but we can hear the cows are hungry they are not having it they want to get fed so here we go so everything is all the framing is done except for i do have to put my purlins on the roof i'm just going to run them every three feet my uh my supports on the outside of the rafters are all at three feet to the top so I'll just run my purlins across those as my kind of my line of sight so that I know where to run them and then there'll be metal roof but I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head to Lowe's and I'm gonna buy some decorative facing boards to do the un underside of my overhang um, I'm gonna do that before I do the, the roof and I think I'm actually going to paint all of the fascia um, outside rafters and the underside uh, uh, just to get it done before I have to start on the roof because I don't want to have to paint after the roof is on with a little bit of overhang having to paint around that so anyway enough running my mouth um, thing is finally coming together hopefully uh, like I said tomorrow finish putting uh, the decorative uh, enclosure underneath of the overhang and then start put my purlins in and then metal roof and get close to being done so if you've been watching i appreciate it talk to you later bye